Measurement of magnetoresistance of a semiconductor. The magnetoresistance is defined as the ratio of change in resistance of a substance due to application of magnetic field to its resistance in zero field. Under the influence of a magnetic field, the electrons in a solid material do not follow the exact direction of superimposed electric field, instead take a curved path. This results in effective decrease of the mean free path and hence an increase in the resistivity of the sample. When magnetic field is applied normal to the current flow, the effect is termed as transverse magnetoresistance and when field is applied parallel to the current flow, it is termed as longitudinal magnetoresistance. Connect the leads from electromagnet to the electromagnet power supply unit. Adjust the air gap, 10 mm, between the pole pieces of the electromagnet. Now connect the gauze probe and put it on stand, and select center knob to kilo gauze, and meter range to 2 volts. Now before placing the probe between the electromagnet, adjust 0 by rotation 0 knob. After adjusting 0, place the gauze probe between the magnet, and measure the magnetic field in between the pole pieces of the electromagnet as a function of current through it with the help of the gauze probe and gauze meter. Note down the magnetic field at 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3 ampere, 4 ampere and 5 ampere. Now remove the gauze probe and connect the germanium crystal sample probe. And rotate the select knob to MA position and adjust the current to 2 mA. Now this is going to be constant current flowing through the germanium crystal. As the germanium probe is not yet inserted between electromagnet, Rotate the selection knob to millivolts and set meter range to 200 millivolts and note down this voltage in zero field. And calculate the resistance R in zero field by dividing this voltage by current. Place the sample in between the pole pieces of the magnet such that magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of the current. Note down the voltages at different magnetic fields by varying the current and calculate their respective resistances. Tabulate all the readings in the table and plot the graph. Showing graph between delta R by R versus magnetic field. Showing graph between log delta R by R versus log magnetic field. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.